Neat. Hey, this is a story all about how I was gonna record another game when the capture effed up, and I like to like I could just sit right there. I'm gonna tell you a story about how I don't care. How's it going, everybody? I'm Nate. More me. Here's more Nurse Love Addiction. I was gonna play more Psychonauts, but my controller is about to die for the PS4, and there was a big ass console patch, so we'll record that tomorrow. And I was like, oh, I'll record Conger's Hyrule Tale. My capture card with my Hyperkin actually was really, really buggy, so I had to scrap that content. So I will be getting back to that, but this is actually working. Knock on mic. So what we're going to do is... Oh, no! Really? Ah! Uh. Right as soon as I was like, oh, we're going to record this. Fine, we're going to record an hour of this. I hope the controller survives. Because I only have one charging cord. I really should get one of those, like, docks. <sighs> docks! For the PS4 controllers, whatever. Itsuki says, <sighs> And I'm a little bit under the weather, so if you guys hear me <clears throat> being a little bit <clears throat> like that, then I do apologize, but I'll still try to do funny voices, because I know you like the funny voices. Miss Itsuki! Mm. Oh, Jummy Girl! It really hurts to do her voice when I'm a little bit heavy-chested. Speaking of heavy chested, what's the matter? Uh, you're wearing a pretty silly face yourself. Wow. For you to say that, I must be. It's nothing really. <coughs> oh, shit. Since I'm the dummy girl, I guess that makes me the authority on stupidity. I guess that makes sense. I'm not thinking about something. If I stay shut up in my room, it just makes me more depressed. Hmm. There you go, sighing again. What's the matter? Thinking she must be troubled about something, I attempt to make myself useful by listening. It's nothing. Miss Itsuki brushes me off. She doesn't seem to consider me someone she can confide in. All right. So do I belong in the jelly? So I do belong in the jellyfish club, but dot dot dot. Mm -hmm. Dot dot dot. Dot 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 dot. Dot 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 dot. Dot dot. The archive room. Hey! <clears throat> Man, it was a really bad idea to stop recording. I mumble it quietly as she jumps up with surprise. This makes me feel surprisingly good. What's wrong with you? She glares. <laughs> Nothing. It just came out unconsciously. Don't worry. In fact, now I find myself whistling. <whistles> really annoyingly, too. Tisk! That song sucks! Oh, you clicked your tongue at me. Uh, yes, if you even try to do something like tell me to get the crying girl in the archive room story again, you're not going to get away with it. I remember she freaked out. It won't just be that. I'll do this and that to you. Oof, what's that? And what's this and that supposed to mean? Her voice is deadly serious. It may just be my imagination, but I almost even sense murderous intent there. Oh, jeez. Maybe I shouldn't. Well, that loss is appeal real quick. I don't want to get killed. Come on, you look down, so I was just worried about you. Hmm, I'm at the point that even you, dummy girl, worry about me. Damn! Did you have a fight with Miss Sakuya? Somehow I seem to feel that Miss Itsuki to, be, to become like this. Blah, Miss Sakuya would somehow have to be involved. Fight me with Sakuya? No! Yeah. I wouldn't. That's impossible. She says plainly with a hint of hesitation in her voice. We've already had a life's worth of that. Dot dot dot. I feel that this is not a world, but yeah, that I can easily step into. Great. I stifled that yawn. Great. That was beautiful. It's not what it seems. Huh? So... What you said wasn't true? Who knows? I'll keep a secret from you, dummy girl! Hmph. <laughs> Is Miss Sakuya in your room? No, she left to visit her family in the morning! Apparently they kept going on about her going home. Her family? Miss Sakuya's family. Miss Itsuki probably knows about them too. You're so easy to read. Huh? You're curious, right, about Sakuya's family members. If you want to know, start by asking her yourself. Okay, yeah. I nod, thinking that she probably won't tell me even if I ask. 
Oh, that's right! Miss Itsugi suddenly speaks, appearing as if she just remembered something. Something off the top of her head. Something not very significant. Dummy girl, are you available tomorrow? Huh? I give her a blank look. Miss Itsugi smiles mischievously. You're available, right? Yeah, I'm available. Yes. Good. Is there a concept known as fate? It means a force that cannot be seen by the eye. There is even a concept known as fatalism. Fate. I don't know if it even really exists. But looking back and thinking, I probably should have done that instead. But how much would that really have changed? Anytime you find yourself thinking like that, that is too fate. I don't think I'm explaining this well. The crux of the matter is this. Whoosh. We are now at Comic Cat. Yay! Hooray! Look at the bikini girl back there! Look at her! Look at all those girls! Messenger of love and healing with the motherly heart, wizard nurse Prima with her hyper cure and cutesy nursing. She'll use her pain peaceful and gentle drilling healing punch to heal your heart completely! I like the bikini girls back there. Oh, we zoomed out. Hey, look, nice merch on the table. I strike poses in front of the crowd. Wizard Nurse Purima, a demo version of the game being created by the club Cutesy Laboratory, is available at our booth. I advertise in front of the crowd of people. Dot, dot, dot. Blank. Dot, dot, dot. My mind is utterly blank. Dot, 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 dot. Blank. An angelic smile. Miss O'Hara would be so proud of its of his past... <laughs> Uh, an angelic smile, Miss O'Hara will be proud of it, of his pa pasted, um, bleh, to my face! Jesus, why couldn't I read that? My brain is completely egg salad, but my mind is a barren wasteland. I'm surprised I even know the words barren wasteland. Noise, sweat, 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 noise, sweat. There are waves of people. They cluster about. A vortex of heat. Humidity. I feel like I'm on. An, I'm in a tropical jungle. It, it's wonderful, Miss Osa. No, Prima, you're so photogenic. Yay! Click, click, click. The shutters go off. Countless flashes flickering across my field of vision. Miss Hiromi Sano seems in great spirits, and next to her is you. All right, thank you. Demo version, 500 yen each. Please make sure you have exact change, bitch. Alright, thank you! Oh, no touching Prima! We have a meet and greet later! So please, please purchase the 500 yen demo version to get a ticket! A meet and greet? Miss Itsuki sells the demo discs in high spirits. Hooray! Hey, to think of an unknown club like us entering Kamima! And selling a demo version of an uncompleted game! I thought we couldn't expect many customers, but... I just can't believe how many copies we've sold! I mean, selling a demo even a bit of, Wait, crap, what voice did I give Hiromi? I mean, selling a demo even a big business don't get these days. I'm surprised you're not getting any complaints. Well, I guess that's all good thanks to Dummy Girl! Thanks! A great smile, and she's uh, pointing at me. This had been the cause of Mrs. Suki's concern yesterday. Okay, I gotcha. Arg! Why did I accept this job? Why are there two bikini girls behind me? I had told her honestly that I didn't have any plans today. Yesterday, remembering what had happened, part of me regrets not turning her down. But even if I were to turn back time, I still probably wouldn't have been able to turn her down. I think to myself. I think I just got a lot of smooch points from her, so I'm good. Komima. Your Komima is short for Comic March! An event that is said to be the biggest Dujin event to the country! Does anybody want some Dujin cheese? You want some Dujin cheese. There you'll have to debut as a cosplayer! Remember how I told you before that next time would be for real? No, 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 no. I really can't! Mm, if you do this for me... Meh? I'll answer any question you want! Hooray! I don't know what question we're going to get answered, but there you go. But just one. She seems to look through me as she says this. Hmm. Any question I want. 
Really? Yes, and my answer will not be a lie, I pinky promise. More. Does that mean then... Oh man, what question should I ask her if it lets me choose? What are Miss Sakuya's family issues? Even a question like that... Stop spacing out, Prima! Draw the crowd, draw the crowd! Oh, oh, I'm sorry! Honestly, do your job properly, bitch! That's what I'm telling you! The crying girl in the archive room! No! I hadn't said that in a loud voice, but Mrs. Suki responds. Grr. She looks at me with eyes that promise to murder me. Oh no. She will answer my que any question I want. Even if I could turn the clock back, I'm not confident I could resist her proposal. But. I wonder if it's alright for me to find out this way. Such doubts remain. Forget about that now. I'll do what I have to. Okay. Facing the crowd, I take a deep breath. I can feel the many eyes that have gathered to watch me. You, passing over there! Is that virilis, virilis I see in your heart? Hmm. Worry not, though. I, Wizard Nurse Primo, will use my drilling healing punch and remove him from your heart. Here I go. I'm literally going to punch people at this con. I will clean your heart and make it fluffy and soft once again. I, I don't think hearts can be fluffy. They are literally made of meat. I give a dazzling smile to the crowd of people. The last part of seems a little weird. Written by Ms. Itsuki, but... Click, click, flash, flashing. I hear the sound of shutters clicking, countless flashes flickering across my field of vision. Eyes focused on me. Focus on me. Focus, 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 focus on me. Oh dear, this is a little dangerous. Dangerous! What should I do? I'm starting to feel good. Uh-oh. Pose more. You're a starlet, me. The sound of shutters clicking, flashes flickering across my field of vision. Eyes focused. The pleasure of being photographed. What should I do? I really can't go back. Oh no! You say that if it's a bad, as if it's a bad thing. Mm. You stop hearing my inner monologue. Just then. Oh, I'm getting a call. As Izuki takes out her smartphone. Mm. I'm surprised. I'm surprised she got reception. Fine, I'm just gonna give her a different voice every single time she talks. <gasps> what do you mean? The crisscrossing currents of desire and imagination here at Kamima usually cause regular signals to jam, preventing calls from going through. I don't really get it. Well, you're better off that way, aren't you? Ms. Itsuki talks on her smartphone with an expression of slight annoyance at the noise surrounding her. Mm, this fucking sucks. Yeah, that's right. Like I said, I'm not playing. I wonder who she's talking to. Alright, I'll show up at the lab then. Sometime tonight. Right now. Mm, yeah. Bye. Was that Sumika? Mm, yeah, honestly. She looks a little disgruntled. As far as I know, the person called Sumika is the one creating the illustrations for the game and who refused to follow the script from Ms. Itsuki wrote. Oh no. She might have been the reason why Prima wasn't able to make it on time. Alright, now that we've sold a good number of demo copies... It's not... As, to change the, as if to change the topic, Ms. Itsuki says this and looks at me. I'm gonna conduct some market research, dummy girl! You come toward the venue with me! Mwah. Huh? Alright, I'll watch- Wait, alright. I'll watch your booth. Good luck. Good, good luck! Oh, keep wearing the Prima outfit, it might be good advertising! Yeah! Uh, I really wanna change! This is chafing. Bad. Nope. I like it, Smooch. I really, really, really wanna change! I protest desperately. Whoosh, to the clouds. In the end, I'm still not allowed to change. I had expected as much. Well, I guess there's a lot of people in the cosplay anyway. I say this to cheer myself up as I leap into the sea of all things Dujin. And there's the same still shot. Noise, sweat. Noise, sweat. That's my new remix. Huh? Huh? Hey, please, come, take a look. Look at this shit I'm selling. Oh. Well, it might be a little too soon to take you to this area, dummy girl. This is for you. Oh, <laughs> hello. I bow. Huh? B bondage? D drugs? Is hypnosis really that easy to fall under? Oh man, she's reading some dirty shit. No, 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 no. Y you can't do that. Criminal. Criminal. Kilory. The name of one of the characters. Run. I know. She can't run. Komima is like a grand masquerade ball. Well, 
where, under the name of freedom of expression, all sorts of human desires are unleashed. Oh man, I don't really understand it, but what do I understand is that it's like nothing I've ever experienced before. Noise, sweat, noise, sweat, noise, sweat, beep. Misty Romy, I see now, I see the currents everywhere. Okay, I don't know what that means. Well, now it's nighttime. And on the next installment of Nurse Love Addiction, we are going to see what happens after Kamaket. We read a really nasty Dujin, and now we're back out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next nasty comic.